hi guys welcome back to a new video it's rachel here thank you so much for watching so for today's video i'm going to show you guys my favorite lip combinations my nude lip combos i know it's so hard to find the perfect nude lip but i have six lips for you guys these are so affordable they are basically all drugstore except for one product but if you want to see my lip combination then don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and then let's get started with the lip combos okay so we're gonna get started and for the lip liners that i'm using for today so these are for lip liners that i'm always purchasing and i think these are the ones that are definitely great for my skin tone so for the first one it is morphe bite me so this one's one of my favorites and also the morphe trendsetter this one's a little bit darker and then we have more on the warmer red side so this one is the revlon color stay and this one is in sienna so it's more like a deep red and then we have the color prop bff and number three so i'm gonna go in with trendsetter look how tiny it is like i'm always using this one so i'm just gonna swatch right here for you guys can see how dark it is it's pretty dark so i'm gonna start with trendsetter and i'm gonna line my lips and then i just like to grab like my finger and blend it in just like that and now we're gonna go in with morphe and this is true story this is like the best i love their liquid lipsticks they're so good they're so long wearing they don't dry out my lips at all and this one's in true story so this one's like i suggest everybody purchase this one so it looks like this So like a chocolatey, warm tone nude. So I'm going to swatch it right here so you guys can see. It's so good. So sometimes I like to wear it like this. But sometimes at the beginning I was wearing it like this. Like it was just like a neutral brown. A little bit dark. But I do like to grab Taunt. So Taunt is also from Morphe. This is their liquid lipstick this is more on the pink side and i just like to apply this right here right in the center and this is how i will wear this lip it's so good it's so brown but still in a little tint of pink that it doesn't like it's not too dark for any day wear so that pink like just right here I spread it around and it just creates this like nice nude color and this one is one of my favorites so now we're gonna go with our second one of my favorite lip combos and this is a bite me so this is from morphe so i'm putting it right underneath trendsetter see how it's very dark and this is more on the warmer side such a good brown lip such a good brown lip liner like everybody should have bite me again and then i'm gonna go in with the the revlon lip liner and this one is more on the red tone And I'm just gonna apply this also in here and blend it in. I just think these two together make such a beautiful color. Just like that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Morphe. Morphe is so affordable, you guys. If you haven't tried Morphe, highly recommend recommend and they had recently all their lipsticks and their local lipsticks for five dollars so i have this lipstick and this one is in first base was this which is such a nude nude lip so this one is their mega i think it's called their mega lipsticks their mega matte super matte so now i'm just gonna apply first base right here and 
and then of course grab my finger and try to dab it in And then I'm just gonna keep dabbing, right? And this is my, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this lip. Like this is such a like a warm red, still nude. This looks amazing with like a dark smoky eye, like how I have it right now. The Morphe lipsticks, they are really matte, but they're not like over drying my lips at all. Just moisturize before you apply any matte very matte liquid lipsticks these are amazing the packaging looks so expensive and i'm obsessed with this one but this one is like my number one if you guys want to know this one's my number one okay so for the third one sometimes i don't grab a lip liner because true story is such a nice brown um liquid lipstick for all over your lips so i will do true story all over and then I just overline my lip just a little bit from the top. This on its own is so pretty also. But for me, one of my favorite combos is True Story. The KKW Beauty. This is a 2.5 nude lipstick. I think this is her matte lipstick. It's right there. So it's like a pink tone, coral tone. And I love applying this one, especially just in the center of this lip. So I just... You could apply some eyeliner, but I think this one looks really good for just like a natural look. Also great for like a smoky eye. This is one of my favorite lip combos when I would go to work. So for this one, you kind of also want to have like a darker smoky eye because it would like kind of wash you off. But... It still looks like a natural, a coral nude to your lips, and I think it looks amazing. So now I'm gonna go in with Bite Me one more time, and Bite Me is this like nice warm brown color in my lips, just a little bit from the inside. And then now I'm gonna go with L'Oreal. This is their infallible liquid lipstick and nudist. So this is such a great nude. So I'm gonna apply it right here. very similar but you know there's like a little difference you can definitely tell there's a difference so this one is my also the infallible it's so good so i like to apply it and then of course grab my finger blend it in and this is the lip combo This one is like also like an everyday wear. Like this looks amazing on any eyeshadow look, any on its own. Like I said, it does stay very sticky at first. Like it's sticky. It takes a while to dry, but when it dries, it's like an amazing color. But the only thing I don't like about these infallible lipsticks is because once you start drinking or once you start eating it just starts coming off and you can see it looks horrible so just be aware these look amazing when you're just talking or not talking at all once you start eating and drinking you better have a napkin around you so you can just like wipe it off sometimes i use this look but i want to have a gloss to it so i apply the morphe and this is their chill lip gloss which is a nude and I just like to apply it right here and then right by the cupid bow just right there it kind of makes makes it look like your lips are a little bit more fuller on the top this look is just like it looks amazing it looks so good especially outside in the sun makes your lips nice and juicy and big with the chill lip gloss on top so it's also one of my favorite looks when i want that gloss lip this is what i go for sometimes i'm not really into uh, lip glosses just because it gets on my teeth but this one's definitely one of my favorites so if you guys are interested in this lip gloss it's so pretty you see how like and the morphe liquid lipsticks they're not sticky at all like 
they're so smooth so creamy so shiny and that's what i like about like lip glosses i hate when they're so sticky okay another one one of my favorites it is the color pop color pop this is bff number three i just don't like that once it like it keeps sharpening it this thing the lipstick the lipstick the lip liner falls inside even though you sharpen it you sharpen it and it's just like kind of hollow so you have to do this thing like you have to shake it you know, it's so weird but i'm gonna apply it right here next to next to bite me They're quite similar to bite me just blend it in and then i'm gonna go in with one of my favorite colors and this is the um infallible bad liquid lipstick and this is their le chocolat line so this obviously smells like chocolate so this one i love smelling it smells like chocolate and it's so good but again this color is so amazing oh, look at it it reminds me of the look at lipstick from morphe the first base but just in a liquid lipstick formula so you could apply just a little bit more to intensify and make it a little bit more brighter but applying more and have you guys seen like my all my videos that i've been doing my tutorials my makeup tutorials i always end up finishing the lip with the les chocolat sweet tooth with the pff number three or the um, bite me either one looks really good it's just for this one you can once it dries you do start to see the cracks on your lips if you have dry lips so definitely you have to moisturize when you apply this and then again same with nudis you have to same with these two you just have to um, be aware that when you eat and you drink it is gonna start like peeling off and it's gonna look ugly but it looks amazing when you're not eating <laughs> and these two are like so good i just hate that it just comes off really ugly like the liquid lipsticks from morphe i don't have a problem with that i could eat it's still there but it's like nicely blended in and with these two it just feels very cracked and ugly and your lips look horrible and will look also amazing if you top it off with chill from morphe it would look so good it's so it's one of my favorites i don't want to take it off now and one of my other favorite lip nudes it's i'm gonna apply um trend center and trend center i feel like it is a dark lip if your complexion's a little bit darker than me it will look even good on you i think it'll look great on any any on everybody because you could just blend it and it kind of fades away so it's not too dark or too harsh and then i'm gonna go ahead and apply this is the nyx liquid suede cream lipsticks and let me tell you guys this one is so good i want to play it right here very similar to true story but this one was by far one of my favorite i purchased these like five of them they do dry but they're still like moisturizing on your lips so if you're into a liquid lipsticks but you don't want something too dry for your lips highly recommend their nyx way liquid lipsticks they're so affordable too so all of these are definitely drugstore affordable i will say maybe the highest end would be the kkw beauty lipstick i think it's like 18 dollars so this one's more of a pink tone i don't know if you guys can see it But I definitely see more of a pink tone soon. Hopefully they all look different for you guys. I know they all look very similar in comparison. But I'm telling you, they all have a tint shader. Brighter, darker, warmer, cooler tones. And I think this one is more of a cool tone. But it looks so good. Well, that completes my lip combo, my new lip combo. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I love finding new lips, nude lip colors. So creating, finding that new lip, it's so hard to find. And once you find it, it's like, yes, don't get rid of it. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to put everything down below that I use in the order of the 
lip combinations so thank you so much for watching my video for today don't forget to like my video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye